Let us start in the world of continental trade. Delegations from Europe, the United States, Middle East, Asia, and 19 member states of the Union of African Shippers Council have converged in the capital of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, the delegates there discussing ways of fast tracking the implementation of a single market for goods and services under the African continental free trade area. This initiative is the first major event on the CFTA since the advent of the pandemic. African leaders in the freight sector are in the DRC capital, Kinshasa, to hammer out details of a collaboration to enable them to boost trade on the continent. Their meeting is a follow-up on an initiative that was signed by 44 African countries in 2018, known as the African Continental Free Trade Area. It's an ambitious trade agreement that seeks to create a market where goods and services will move freely. The DRC president, Felix Chisekedi, believes the initiative will lift millions of Africans out of poverty. The start of trading under this initiative has shown that we will become economically independent in Africa. I want to declare that my desire is to see this collective effort transform our economies. Africa is endowed with a lot of natural resources, but most of its exports are unprocessed. The leaders here hope to change that. When we are going uh, uh, to, to fight as a bloc, then we are strong. But if we are going individually, we, we will not be strong. And the sense of African free, uh, continental free trade area is that we need to be a bloc, a strong bloc of Africa. The quest to integrate African economies has been expressed by many African leaders for decades, but political differences and poor infrastructure has blighted that goal. The DRC is a member of the Southern African Development Community, an intergovernmental organization that's set to benefit from the removal of trade barriers in Africa. I think that this agreement presents opportunities on both sides, um, for DRC as well as for South Africa. Uh, for export of trade in goods, export of trade in services, for the establishment of linkages and regional value chains uh, to make sure that uh, we accelerate industrial development on both sides. Many African economies have been hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic and that has made this push for economic integration a priority. The officials here plan to come up with a resolution about easing business regulations across the continent on Thursday. Chris Sochamringa, Kinshasa.